Now let's talk about how calm it is here in the West comparatively. Cloudy skies for most of us, but we are getting little breaks in the clouds and we'll expect to see partly cloudy skies here and there off and on throughout the day because this little cold front that's bringing this rainfall is very weak and it's sort of breaking up as it comes in on shore. On shore. Shorecrest High School and Shoreline, you can see how the rain pushed in and then all of a sudden we have a little blast of sunshine right there at the end of that time lapse. Seattle waterfront looking off to the east. We're in the clouds right now. 49 degrees wind out of the east northeast at six miles an hour. And the pressure here is showing that it's rising, but that may be just because one little wave rolled through the front itself is still offshore temperatures in the upper 40s to around 50 degrees right now a mild 56 degrees for Bellingham 54 for Mount Vernon but 45 degrees for Tacoma. That's a big difference from north to south when it comes to temperatures. And something else we're going to notice a big difference is the wind. We have strong winds expected on the coast and the north interior, including the mainly Whatcom, Skagit counties to the west, San Juans, Whidbey, Camano, and Admiralty Inlet. That's where our wind gusts are going to be up to 30, 35 miles an hour over the course of the day today and into tonight. Tonight they may pick up a little bit by tomorrow morning, definitely gusts up to 40 miles an hour, but we may see or feel that little bit of a breezy wind even through around the Seattle Tacoma area as well. So that's something to be in mind. Uh, keep in mind if you're headed northward or you're talking about maybe taking the boat out in our northern waterways. Port Angeles right now you have rain just to the west of you and approaching. This is a little bit of a rain shadow. It looks like as this front is kind of leaning back as it's pushing on shore. But boy, we've got some moderate rain for Shelton and Brennan and this will be sliding over for all of us. Seattle right now getting a little bit of light rain. You can see the general motion coming in from the south southwest all from this area of low pressure offshore. Now usually when we see a nice well formed low pressure it would be, be very solid and it's counterclockwise motion, but you may see that these clouds are a little broken up. This will still initiate a little bit of some breezy wind for us, but right now it doesn't look like the wind will be strong enough to cause any advisories. Of course, keep keep that in mind as we go through the night tonight, because that could change, of course, as it gets closer. Otherwise, we're watching that cold front push and steady rain in that will change to showers overnight. Temperatures in the mid 50s for highs for the north interior with that breezy, gusty wind for Seattle will be right around 55. Cloudy rain off and on through the day. We'll get some breaks and you might see a little blue sky, but rain at times from Tacoma to Gig Harbor and Olympia. Temperatures on the coast are going to be coolest to the north coast around 49 for Forks, but uh, we'll get below 50s a little further inland on the beaches. East of the Cascades, we've got an increase of clouds, slight cooling, but still into the low to mid 60s. So our seven day forecast for Seattle will bring in showers with the risk of an isolated thunderstorm and small hail on Friday. It looks like rain changes to showers on Saturday and increasing rain coming in again on Sunday. So this is a very wet stretch. Even Tuesday, Steve, looks like we're going to get a little rain on that day too. All right, we're just as long as we're prepared for it, it makes it easier to deal with when the rain yes. actually comes. Yeah.